hello dear viewers uh, welcome to yet another episode of our youtube tutorial videos so i want to uh, first thank you for staying with us this far i want to thank you for the support for the messages and even for the comments that i've been receiving uh, about the kind of videos that uh, our viewers would wish to have me do so in this particular one i just want to uh, bring to your attention uh, the fact that uh, one of the videos that we did on how to uh, transfer SketchUp uh, 3D models into Archicad where we realized that uh, when you are supposed to save uh, using the IFC format some of the lines were becoming blurred and some of the features were being hidden so uh, one of the users uh, requested me to do a, a simpler and a more straightforward uh, way of uh, transferring SketchUp models into Archicad considering the fact that uh, some of the 3D elements uh, become hidden when they are transferred to Archicad. So before we delve into this, I would wish to kindly ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you may not miss any of our upcoming tutorial videos that we'll be putting up in this platform. So let's begin by first ensuring that we have saved this uh, draft model that I'm working on just want to save it first let me save it um, just ensure that it is saved of course as a sketchup model uh, yeah so I'll for this I'll just click on that and make sure that uh, it is saved so let me just say replace then the next thing that I'll do is to uh, go to Archicad that I'm using let me click on it uh, so like this one um, the next thing that I'll do is to make sure that my window is uh, well customized so that I use construction display then the next thing that I'll do is uh, on the uh, menu bar here I'll click on file then I'll go to interoperability then click on merge Once that is in place, I'll locate the file that I just saved in a SketchUp. So that is, uh, uh, let me scroll down to uh, same project. Let me click on it and then I'll go to settings and I'll make sure that uh, all the hotspots for that particular uh, object are selected or the boxes are checked. So in that particular dialog box that appears, so make sure that everything is checked and then you click on OK. Then once that is done, I'll just simply click on Open. So once you realize that this is an, an Archicad uh, SketchUp version that is uh, 2019 and uh, or earlier, I'll simply go back to my uh, SketchUp window then I'll make sure that I will save this particular model in uh, an 2019 version or earlier so I'll click on save us then I'll click on the, the save us type so I'll go to SketchUp 2019 and then I'll click on save once that is happening then I'll go back to Archicad 23 using the same thing go to file click on interoperability and click on merge then simply locate the model once again there good so that is it click on open then I'll select on uh, the appropriate position that I want my model to be so I'll just simply click on that position and allow the 3d model to, to load and as swift as it is uh, the next thing that we'll do is just to simply zoom in 
to ensure that um, the model is in place. We'll also check on the 3D window to ensure that uh, whatever we we had uploaded is the relevant one that is in that window. So I'll simply click on that and see to it that uh, it is the actual version of the model that we are working on. Then the next thing that I'll do is to ensure that it becomes um, an editable uh, version of uh, Archicad that can simply help us in adding more features to it. So how I'll do that is to simply uh, select on the model, just select on everything. Then once that is done, I'll right click and then uh, I'll look for my morph selection or I'll simply uh, select on the context menu and click on convert selection to morph. Then once uh, that is done, you'll ensure that uh, I'll have to click on continue anyway. Just give it time. And with that, uh, the model will be able to be edited. So what that, that means is uh, I can simply click on, for example, let me click on my window. Yeah, so you can realize that you can you can be able to do your editing as far as uh, the whole model is concerned. So we are come to the end of this uh, particular tutorial video. I wish to kindly ask you to still subscribe if you have not done so and see you in the next tutorial video.